One of the more effective ways to fish a river when you're in a boat is this type of setup. I really like a tiller motor like this. A, it gives me really, really good control. Regardless of what the current's doing, I can slow it right down so I can go to a dead stop. And with the four blade propeller that I have on the outboard, it really is efficient in regards to current running into the prop. The prop can hold you in one spot without having to move the handle back and forth. So that way I can, like here, I can run that bait right into that log jam and have the ultimate control with a tiller handle versus running a steering remote. So the other thing that a tiller allows you to do when you're with your rod and reel, being that I'm in the back of the boat, you know, I'll get right up next to the log jam, get that bite, that bait nice and tight to it. And then if I see like here, I've got some trees on the bottom. All right, I don't want that crankbait to run into it. It's simply just putting the rod on the other side of the boat and I'm still controlling it just as effectively. Another thing you can do with the tiller, is I'm going along here about 1.5 miles an hour. When you see those deeper holes, I'll just speed the boat up a little bit and that'll dive the bait contour wise right down into that hole. And then as I come out, I'll feel the bait dig and then I'll slow it up again. The other nice thing is you can see here, I got a big tree in the water and I'm gonna run this bait right tight to it. And it's so much easier running from the back of the boat with the tiller versus the steering wheel. I can get right over there, okay, you can see the line's getting in close to the treetop. I can simply just bring that bait back over to the side like this. The ultimate in boat control when you're, when you're fishing rivers. Right, there we go. <laughs> Got that bait up right next to that wood. And there was a fish living there for some reason. That's the one thing when you're, you're fishing rivers is you want your baits next to the cover because what cover creates is a soft spot for the fish to be in. It breaks up the current, so consequently, the, uh, that's where the fish want to be. So, decent fish here. That's the exciting thing about when you're fishing rivers is you really don't know what you're gonna catch. But regardless of what you're fishing for, whether it's walleyes or smallmouth bass or pike or muskies, any cover that's laying in the water that creates a current break is a fish holding spot. Now, it'll, it'll make it easy for the bait fish to hang there. Consequently, the other fish will lay right with it. And this crankbait, the nice thing about it is working upstream like this trolling, it allows you to, to hold that bait right, in, right off the end of that piece of wood. Almost like a salmon or a steelhead fisherman using plugs to be backsliding a hole with their plugs going up wherever you can just kind of slow down and hold in place. So, a nice fish there. River Smallmouth, the mighty Mississippi. Nice fish. <laughs>